Today we're going to be talking about focusing and I'm not talking about any kind of focusing I'm talking about the focusing in the Nikon D7000. Recently I had a subscriber tell me that her camera won't autofocus when she's using it and this can be an issue when the camera isn't communicating with the lens properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you in this video how to make the lens and the camera communicate by creating an autofocus fine-tuned lens profile. So let's get to it. Hey guys, okay, so to set this whole thing up, we're gonna actually need a couple things. First of all, you wanna make sure you have a sturdy tripod. And the second thing is that you wanna have something to focus on when you're doing this. And I created a little sheet of my own. I just found this, um, well, actually, I made it in Photoshop, okay? And I would like to put this on here so you guys can use it because I think it's a great thing. But you could just use a cereal box or um, a book. Um, actually, a book works very well, an open book. So you could just do the same kind of test. But I just made this. Um, I'll see if I can find out how to put a link in the description to download it. Um, I'm not quite sure how to do that yet since I'm so new at youtube still but i think it's um it's a good sheet you guys can download and use um if not be free to copy it um if you'd like to i don't i don't mind but um so basically what you want to do is you you want to focus on this on this little point right here where it says in focus and i made out of focus points and you can do this in a book just focus on a certain line in a book and just kind of, um, you want to make sure that one line is completely focused and the other lines are not in focus. So let me give you an example. Here's my sheet on the table where I'm going to focus. So what I wanna do is I, I, I want the camera to be at an angle towards the piece of paper. So then I get some depth of field on the sheet. Um, that way I can, I can definitely focus on, one point. Now I could definitely focus on one point of the sheet of paper but it gives you that angle that you need. And uh, that way you can get what you want. So what we're doing is we're trying to f achieve a very fine focus point. That way you get great photos every time with your lens. And on this setup right now, I'm using the 50 millimeter 1.8. So to do this, See, if you guys 
I, I hope you guys can see how this is set up. Um, the, the camera is definitely at an angle. The sheet of paper is on a flat surface. We have a steady tripod. And I'm using, what am I using? I'm just using 2.8 on this lens. And um, I, I wanted to lighten up the picture so I could see what I'm doing. So I'm, I'm doing a shutter speed of 640, but it all depends on where you're doing this. You're not gonna have optimal situation when you're doing this. Um, but I would definitely, um, I would definitely do it in a, a very uh, bright area so that you can get optimal focus and it just doesn't hunt. So that's that. So let me go ahead and transfer you guys to the front of the camera. All right, sorry for my dusty camera. On the outside, it's kind of dusty. It's from the case. So anyway, I don't know if you guys can see very well but when you're doing this, um, you have your, you want to use a, um, and you want to use auto, autofocus, of course, but you want the AFS autofocus. So it's AF autofocus single, and you want to make sure it's on a selection point. Okay. So that's the first thing you guys want to do to set up your camera. If you don't know how to do that, I'll guide you on how to do that. Just ask me in the, in the comments below, okay? And on this, you're gonna go, let's see, when you go into the main menu, it's gonna go, you wanna go down to the wrench, and then you wanna go into autofocus fine tune, okay? So right now, I have my lens at 15 plus because that's where I found it to be perfectly focused okay when you're doing this you want to play around a little bit it says and the Nikon when you look this up on Nikon there goes all my paper of course when you look this up on Nikon you see that it says if the value, if the focus is behind the, the, fo the focus point, so say you have the focus at zero and say your, your focus is actually uh, before the zero when you take a picture, then you're going to move your dial or your your little thing here plus so you want to go um like say plus whatever it takes to get into focus so i'm at plus 15 because that's what my lens is focusing at now these older lenses these older lenses don't actually um communicate very well sometimes with newer cameras unfortunately at least from my experience, because I have another lens that doesn't, that didn't work very well. Um, it didn't focus correctly. Now with the newer lenses, I'm not sure how much better it is because I haven't actually tried this test on any newer lenses. So anyway, so when you're doing this, yes, you just want to see where your focusing is. So you want to zoom into 100% on your camera so right here, I'll just show you on the screen my picture. But when you zoom in, you want to have everything out of focus except for your main center point. Because that's the most important thing when you're taking a picture. So when that center point is in focus, you'll get nice sharp images. And that's exactly what we're aiming for is just the sharpest image you can get. All right, so basically when you do this, yeah, you just wanna have the best sharp image you can. So if you can see, let me show you another tip here. When you're in this menu, you have a little camera. 
Now this camera depicts where the camera's at from the focus point, okay? Well, where you're focusing. The focus point in the distance doesn't matter with this. It just matters how much you want to um, change your focus alignment, okay? So then it doesn't matter how far away you are. I mean, it does kind of when you're doing this test. So you want to have at least a, um, a middle range and be able to get the picture you want. You don't want to do this test like far away. That's not gonna work very well. So just make sure it's on a tabletop, somewhere flat, you can take a picture. That way you can do this test efficiently. And uh, that way it's effective. And then you should get really, really good pictures. I hope this is helping you guys and I hope it's helping my subscriber who asked this question. Um, to give you an example, okay, let's see. Here is an example of, let's see, I'm gonna go into here. We're gonna go into the live view. And when you're doing this, you guys, you wanna make sure that you are not moving the camera much because if you do you're gonna mess up everything <laughs> when you're doing this okay so here's an example of what it's supposed to look like okay so that works see and it should work every time you shouldn't have to change it as long as the profile is saved in your camera so out of focus is out of focus in focus is in focus Okay. Of course, this is also going to depend on your your f-stop because if you do a f22, yeah, it's going to be all sharp. Or at least it should be pretty clear. But what really what we're doing is we're focusing on low aperture or a, a wide open aperture like 2.8 or any, your lowest aperture on your lens. So that's another thing. You guys want to make sure that you're doing this on the lowest aperture you can. I'm doing 2.8 because it's it's a good aperture to work with. If I do 1.8, my my uh, focus point's going to be so small it's going to be hard to do this. Okay, well, just a little side note. So when I say use an aperture of 2.8, it's for good reason because. I want to basically see what my main focus point is going to be on when the lens is communicating with the camera. So then as you see here in the illustration, I have my focused point right here and this is where I want it to focus. But if the camera is telling the lens, no, 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 I can't communicate with you and it focuses here instead, that's very bad. Okay, so to fix that, what you're gonna go into is the fine tune, the AF fine tune menu. And like I said before, you just go ahead and add or subtract how much focus you want your um, lens to, you're basically switching your focus point in the lens to match with the focus point that is in your camera. So to do that, you have to do it in increments to where it's either subtracted or added. If where your camera focused when it took a picture is after your focus point that you told the camera to focus on, then you need to subtract it in increments. If it is before, you need to add increments. Hopefully, I hope that helps you guys understand how this works, but it's fine tuning it, making it so everything is focused and making it sure that you get that nice, clear, sharp image when you have your focus point on the subject. Uh, another thing I've realized with this is that um, live view doesn't work very well when you're doing this test. You want to use the um, optical viewfinder to do this test that way um, because for some reason it doesn't communicate very well.
Alright guys, so I hope this video helps you understand how this whole thing works. Basically, this is just so you can get the lens to communicate with the camera properly and that it basically will autofocus in the right way. Now, I can't promise you that this is going to work for every lens, but it worked for me and I hope it helps you guys. I hope it helps my subscriber who said her lens isn't focusing. Um, now, the thing with this is that it could actually just be the lens and it could have a bad um, chip in the lens, unfortunately. There are a lot of variables when it comes to autofocus and the camera. It could be a mode, it could be a lot of things, but from my experience, why my lens hasn't focused correctly and I haven't gotten clear pictures is because my autofocus fine tune wasn't correct. Now I use older lenses, I use some newer lenses, but I mostly use older lenses, so that could be my issue. Now if it's, if it's like a newer lens that you're using, it could be a bad chip. Anyway, hope it helped. I hope this video helped you guys. And if it did, please like this video and please subscribe. I hope you're all doing well and please take care. I'll see you in the next one.